all these lights popped on and look guys it won't drive i can barely go <gasps> service to build a track light pops on i'm pressing to the floor it won't move shifting hard again I was on my way home when this happened guys and out of nowhere the truck was driving normal but out of nowhere the truck started to lose power and uh, had my cold scanner in the car with me and breath the codes it was the infamous P2135 and I've dealt with this code uh, many times over I knew exactly what it was so I reset the codes and it drove okay for about a week or so and then the code uh, pops up again the car started uh, doing this exact same thing so i reset it again and it became more frequent lasting within maybe five or ten miles of me driving the vehicle and i knew it was time for me to make the necessary repairs so i can get the truck back driving perfect okay guys we're back in the garage you can see the truck is filthy it is ridiculous cold outside it's eight degrees right now and it's going to get lower than that this is the first time I've dealt with this with the 6.0. I've had many 5.3s. I've dealt with it twice on the 5.3 and I've had 4.8. Um, no issues with that, but this is my first time on the 6.0. They're all the same. Uh, the 6.2, I had 6.2 as well. Uh, no issues with that, but um, it's the same uh, situation. Uh, the throttle position sensor, um, very quick fix and easy fix. So we're gonna get over here and change this thing out really quick. Got my lead on, guys. If you want a garage heater, guys, go look on my channel for the review of this Dynavlo heater, garage heater. This heater is amazing. It's ridiculous cold outside. I just turned it on a few minutes ago when it came in, and we're climbing. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, disconnect the battery. Just the hot side. You can disconnect the negative side. It really doesn't matter. It's a 10 millimeter. Push this out of our way. And the next thing we're gonna do is pop this cover off, guys. And then we're gonna remove this duct. Some eight millimeter or flat, flat blade screwdriver. We're gonna use the long flat screwdriver or the eight millimeter uh, socket to remove that. We don't have to unplug the mass airflow sensor. That's fine, we just wanna remove this duct here. And this is not connected, it should be. I'll show you guys that in a second. Get my other light. Give us a seat. That should be connected here. Um, got this truck a few months ago. I've done a lot of stuff to it. If you guys uh, have a vehicle similar to this, you should check out all the amazing videos I've done thus far on this truck. I only had it three months. I've did, should replace the oil pan, uh, rear main seal, uh, 4K amazing quality videos, a total tune up, <clears throat> quite a few things. It runs and drives amazing now. And we're just gonna get it back running. Uh, perfect. If you angle it, it'll pop right out. You have to angle it. angle it and it'll pop out because it won't break or anything. There's also a rubber grommet here. Pulls up off of that. Ten millimeter.
these gases always mostly all the time are reusable you, you can kind of get a visible look at them and see if they're flat this is not flat it's still protruding it lets you know that this gasket is still good you can reuse this many many times over they're designed for reusable uh, use so I'm gonna just wipe it clean wipe the surface clean kind of visually inspect visibly inspect this not as bad as I thought I thought it was gonna be some carbon buildup inside of this but this thing is running great, so I'm not surprised. So the new part came with the gasket, guys. We're gonna reinstall that. Came in this plastic wrap. Right? Side by side comparison. OEM part. But the this is actually machined pretty well, guys. There's no grooves. Not a bad part. Let's check the plug out for fitment. Not a bad part. So let's prep the surface and get the uh, new gasket installed like i said you, you don't have to dispose of the old gasket because it's reusable so we'll keep that but we're going to install the new gasket so let's do that now Let's take a look at the gasket. The old gasket still is in really good condition. Really good condition. Wipe clean, it's gonna look equally as good as this guy. This one looks better than this one. So we're gonna install this and see how it fits. First, we're gonna do some breaking parts cleaning. Okay guys, once we get them snug down, we want to torque them down now. I'm going to torque from here. I'm going to go here, 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 here. Uh, you want to go 89 inch pounds or about 7 foot pounds. A little over 7 foot pounds. 7.5 foot pounds. 7.5.
let's install this since whoever owned the truck didn't want to install it. All right, guys, uh, we're going to pop the cover back on, and um, uh, that'll be it. Very, very simple uh, and quick and easy job. We'll start it uh, and erase the trouble codes. Disconnect. We're going to connect the battery. So pop the cover on, uh, connect the battery back. Let's do that now. All right, guys, whenever you're working on a vehicle, I check the oil, uh, transmission floor. So I'll do that before... Uh, I wrap this vehicle up. I won't show it on camera. It's a habit I've obtained throughout the years. Whenever I'm working on something, I, I have to check the oil and the transmission fluid to make sure everything's okay. Whenever I'm under the hood, guys. So, uh, just a quick uh, tip. But uh, we can start this thing up now. Erase the codes and um, we should be all good. First start, let's go. Truck's been sitting for a minute, so it's gonna cold start. I didn't erase any codes. No codes erased. But I'm pretty confident in this fix, guys. Done it multiple times. Perfect. This thing is perfect. Okay, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hit the notification bell so you guys be notified when I upload new content. Terrence, I'm out.